welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a special guest, Gabrielle Storm Ada. Oh my gosh, he just fell asleep, so I'm just gonna leave him there to relax. I cannot stop staring at him. I honestly just sit there, like staring at him for hours. <laughs> Does anyone else do that to their babies? I'm gonna have a little chit chat with you guys and just tell you about the labor and the birth. Um, we did film a couple of piece, bits and pieces <laughs> of the day, but I feel like it's a little bit graphic because I actually filmed the birth of him. And I feel like it's a little bit graphic. I don't know, I think we're gonna keep it private for Emma and I, but that's why I wanted to get get on here and have a chat with you guys and explain exactly what happened and what went down and all the details of my little prints because all of you guys have been asking and I definitely want to share it with you. Where do we start? On Monday the 17th, that's the day before he was born, uh, about 10 days ago now, um, I woke up, took a lay at a kindy, just had a regular Monday, um, you know, ran some errands, and then I got home and I felt different. I seriously knew that I was going to come early with him. I just had a feeling, like I heard from a lot of people, their second baby, they come early, but I also just, had, like, I felt different. My body was just feeling like looks little cramps, like period cramps and stuff, but I didn't really take much notice to it but that night I started getting like stronger cramps and I just could not get comfortable like I wanted to go to sleep early I was just feeling really tired and I was just in bed like just on one side the other side and I could not get comfortable so Emra was like I'm gonna sleep in bed with Aaliyah so you can have like the whole bed and just like I was wiggling every second he's like so you can try and get comfy and I'll sleep in there in case she wakes up or something too. He did that and lucky for him because he wouldn't have had a good night's sleep at all. I was up literally all night. Just the cramps were just coming and going. And so in between like the cramps, I would try and have a little sleep, but they were becoming more often. So I'm like, I'm just gonna time this just in case they're contractions. Um, so I wrote down the time, I think it was like 12 o'clock midnight, and I wrote down midnight, and then I tried going back to sleep, and then woke up at 12.30, and I had cramps again, and then I went back to sleep, and I woke up at 1, cramps again, 1.30, and so then I was like, okay, these are contractions, they're just like on the dot 30 minutes, and then they started to get shorter, they were about 15 minutes apart, and then about 10 minutes apart and I was just in a lot of pain so I had a hot shower in the bathroom at like 3 a.m. Um, I had my um, big bouncy ball so I was leaning on that forward like how my hypnobirthing teacher showed me some really cool positions just to relax and like rock back and forth and that was really good and I did that for a bit and then it was about 5 a.m. and I think they were about 10 minutes apart the contractions and I was just in so much pain so I woke up and right I'm like babe I've been having contractions all night I let you sleep to relax <laughs> And I didn't want Aaliyah to wake up too. I know like once you go into the hospital and actually go into active labor, like that's a long process sometimes. So I really wanted like Aaliyah to have a sleep, Emma to have a sleep. I wanted to have a sleep myself. So I woke him up and he said, babe, let's go to the hospital. Um, I had not packed a bag for Aaliyah because she was going to grandma's. We we're going to drop it at grandma's house on the way. So I just remember sitting like in her room next to her wardrobe and like, putting one thing in and then like a contraction coming and just sitting there being like Whew, just breathing and then like when it stopped I'd be like try and finish packing for her and then a contraction would come and just sit down and relax they were coming that often then so I was like okay we gotta go so I got my hospital bag got Aaliyah we dropped Aaliyah to grandma's house and then we got to the hospital um we got out of the car and we're walking there and then I got a contraction so we just stopped and one of the nurses walked past and they were like we'll get you a wheelchair so they got me a wheelchair um brought me up to the birthing suite um and what happened then 
they checked how far dilated I was. I was four centimeters dilated. And so she said, have a hot shower or we'll run the bath. So I hopped in the shower. The shower was so good. Just like the hot water on my back. I literally just sat in a chair in the shower, just like, <laughs> I remember Emma was talking to me asking like babe do you need anything or like can I help with this or do you want me to give you a massage and I literally would just like ignore him being like because <laughs> it was so good like the hot water just like relieving so much pain so I stayed in the shower probably for an hour um we rang we text um and Tammy and Star well I text all my sisters but um I knew Tammy and Star wanted to be in the room when I gave birth to him so I told them like I'm going in to hospital when we were on our way for them to come to and they were got there I don't know about 10 minutes after us so they were there too Emma was there Amy came as well she brought breakfast for everyone because we got went there so early it was like 5 30 in the morning so Amy came probably like I don't know the exact time but probably about um seven and she brought breakfast for all of them. I was just probably in the shower, um, chilling. Then I hopped in the bath. They've got these beautiful big baths in the um, birthing suite. And it was really relaxing and really good. But the contractions were coming and coming stronger and stronger and stronger. So I just, um, by then, I asked for the epidural. I said, like, can you get the epidural? Because I know it sometimes takes like half an hour to an hour like if the um, doctor is doing someone else or um, just it's not available at that moment so I said like can you prepare the epidural um, like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want it and so she said yep sure in the meantime I tried um, the gas for a little bit which I don't know if it really helped me or not like I can't like really recall now the contractions were pretty bad Tammy Star and Emma were just so helpful they were all like you know like giving me massages tickling my hair Emma kept giving me lots of ice I remember with Ali I ate so much ice um, with her too I just had like a cup of ice by then the doctor came and gave me the epidural and I was in so much pain like a lot of pain but um, I came to about eight centimeters dilated when I got the epidural so really like I could have hold off to 10 centimeters to have the baby but you say that when you're not in labor but when you're in labor like it's just so painful like it's so hard to describe it feels like your insides are literally being like torn apart every five minutes for hours so <laughs> it's really painful so once I had the epidural like 15 minutes later I literally felt so much better um, so I fell asleep, so did Emra, so did Tammy, so did Star, we were all like sleeping, it's so funny, Star and Tammy were like the most uncomfortable positions, remember Star's head was like half on the side of the bath, and Tammy was like on this little chair like all squished up with her legs like leaning on something, and Emra was on the, the uh, couch thing next to me, but like a sit up kind of couch, like so uncomfortable for them. I was just chilling in the bed, so I had a nice good sleep, I think probably like an hour and a half or, or maybe even two hours of sleep. And then my midwife woke me up and she said, it's time to push, you're 10 centimeters dilated. And that's exactly what happened with Aaliyah. Oh, that's exactly what happened with Aaliyah. I had the epidural, had a nap, and then they woke me up and said, it's time to push. With Aaliyah, I only pushed for like literally 10 or 15 minutes and she came out with him I thought it was going to be the same thing or even like quicker because it is my second baby but um he moved his head last minute so they said it's going to be extra hard a lot of fun <laughs> you just had to do that didn't you boo so um I was pushing like half an hour then one hour an hour and a half two hours oh my gosh all up about two and a half hours I was so exhausted um, I had Tammy on one leg star on the other leg Emma was like at the back not to be seen um, and they will pull up my legs <laughs> and I was like pulling at the same time too and literally pushing 
for the whole contraction just like non-stop like trying to push as hard as I can um, and then the contraction will stop and you have like a couple of minutes to have a sip of water get yourself together get the energy to do it again so it was really tiring as you guys can imagine in between I remember towards the end I was like does anyone have chocolate or lollies or something I need to I need energy like I was drinking so much water but I needed like something sugary and Tammy had um, like a chocolate protein uh, so I ended up eating that like in between contractions towards the end one of the other midwives came in and she was like okay is the baby born yet and we we're like not yet and she was like well if he's not born in the next few pushes we're gonna have to use forceps or the vacuum on his head to help pull him out um, just because like it's been too long so I was like can you give me like as long as baby's heartbeat's okay and I'm okay can you give me a little bit longer I'm seriously gonna just push with like all my might like just everything and she was like okay I'll come back in like a little bit but if he's not out that's what we're gonna have to do so I literally was like pushed for my life and my midwife was so good she was just saying you're nearly there like come on and I remember Tammy and Star they're both like do it and like <laughs> you know like breathe and push and like I could hear them like doing the too like I feel like you think you're like pushing as well they just want me to push him out I just pushed as hard as I could and she was like he's crowning he's nearly there you're doing so good and the next one his head will be out so um I then pushed his head came out then they make you wait a little bit and then for the next contraction they make you push again so as he came out Tammy had her gloves on ready to go and she grabbed him and put him straight onto my chest to do skin to skin. Um, it's so surreal thinking about it now. It's such an amazing moment. It's just so hard to describe and I'm the worst at describing things you guys already know but it's just I was speechless like I wasn't saying anything. I was just speechless. And he was on my chest and hey babe. Okay. I'm just filming a video. Cool. You wanna be in it? Nothing. <laughs> you came at the perfect part too as soon as we pulled him out and put him on my chest. What? As soon as we pulled out Gabriel and put him on my chest, that's where you came in. Mm -hmm. So he didn't cry straight away, which did you notice that? Oh. Really? Well, he didn't cry, like, straight away, so I was blowing in his face. I don't even know why I did that. Like, I think I saw it in the movies or something. But, um, I asked my mom if I said, can I blow in his face? Because he wasn't crying and he was, like, really blue. So I just blew all over his face and kept blowing in his face and talking to him. And the midwife was just patting his back. As soon as the midwife popped him up, then pat his back, he started to cry. So I was like, oh. My heart just melted and his little baby cry and we were all just there. It was like such a cute moment. Hey babe. Yeah. Did you cry or no? No. Emma said he didn't cry, but I actually didn't look at your face, so I wouldn't know if you're just feeling normal ever know. No one will ever know. Well, he cried with Aaliyah, so I'm pretty sure he cried with Gabriel too. It's just a, like you can't help it like a new life coming into the world then Tammy cut the umbilical cord They weighed him. He weighed 3.6 kilos and He's 54 centimeters tall. I was a week early, so he would have even weighed more So I feel like that's a pretty big baby. I think that's nearly eight pounds Okay. 
then we had like lots of family come in and um, visit went and got Aaliyah so my dad was there and I forgot to bring the gift that Gabrielle would give to his sister because I bought a present for him to give to her so she didn't feel like left out or jealous or anything I heard from a lot of you guys this I told my dad can he go down to the shop downstairs and just get something pink and pretty and like just something Aaliyah will love so he got like a little jewelry box and like a little purse or something it was really cute so and she came in oh my gosh it seriously melts my heart she was just like is that my baby brother is that my baby brother your tummy's gone is that baby brother there and I was like yeah he's here now and she was like I love him I love him so much and just kissing him non-stop I literally had to like hold her back a little bit because she was like smothering him in kisses and he's like just born but she was just like to everyone that was in the room a few um family members she said that's my baby brother that's my baby brother come look that's my baby brother and she was so happy and so perfect it couldn't have been a better reaction from her just so like loving and she wanted to hold him and she was just looking at him okay do you love him He's a little bigger now, and that's I'm your baby. With the name, we actually had like four names that we really loved picked out for him and we were just going to decide out of those four names when we saw him like we did with Aaliyah and when we saw him he literally didn't suit any of them so me and Emra were just like what the like what are we going to do like he doesn't suit any of them it was so bizarre because you think once you choose a name the baby will just grow into it no matter what which I'm sure that happens to a lot of people but with him he just didn't suit any of them we actually didn't choose the name till he was five days old five days old um, a lot of you guys were asking online everywhere what's his name what's his name what's his name I didn't have a name then so I wasn't trying to keep it private from you guys or that you know a secret or wait for a build up or anything it wasn't like that whatsoever I just did not have a name for him and I just didn't want to feel pressured by everyone saying what's a name what's a name just to give him a name that I didn't feel suited him so um, actually Emma came up with the name Gabrielle he was like was sitting here in bed and we were just like thinking of names and he was just like, what about Gabrielle? And I just was like, I love it, like done. And I picked him up and I looked at him and I go, Gabrielle. And he just looked like it, like just suited him so much. And then I chose the name Storm for the middle name. Um, I just love how it's Aaliyah Snow and Gabrielle Storm. And I feel like those names are, I don't know, I feel like Snow really suits Aaliyah and Storm is real masculine and suits him and goes with the first name so we went to mum's I remember it was like what was it it was Christmas Eve and we're like guys we have a name everyone sit down and get ready and we were like it's Gabrielle and you wouldn't believe Tammy was like that's one of my baby names I actually was gonna name Wolf that or one of my babies and I was like, Tammy, I did not know that because she thought I stole it from her. I told her, I was like, Emma actually came up with it. So suck on that because I did not steal it from you. And she literally was like, maybe Emma saw it in my list on my phone. I was like, yeah, Emma really went on your phone and saw that name. And then Amy came over and it was so funny. She was saying that Gabrielle was what they wanted to name their boy if they ever have a boy. And we just thought that was so funny because we never heard anyone say the name Gabriel. And so for them all to turn around, like just to top the cherry on the cake, mum said it was her baby name too for another boy, which like she's not having any more kids. But if she was to, she said that was one of her names. So I was literally just we were laughing so much because everyone like loved this name, but we had no idea. So it was just like crazy. It was like meant to be. So... Amy and Tammy we're just like it's perfect because our nephew will have the name that we love so much. In this case the baby. In this case the baby. They got a little for mouse too. 
Yeah, he came out of mummy's tummy. You were fighting him. And do you remember he got you a present at the hospital? Remember? A bag. A bag. He bought me bag, Gabriel. That's so nice of him, isn't it? Yes. Bye. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Taking you home, little bug. He's falling asleep. He looks really comfy in there. Isn't it the